so I don't fit in. That's hell. It's hell when you can't be around your peers. All my life grew up around black people, poor people, but I can't live around poor people now because they'll rob me. And why would they rob me? Because they're starving, because there's no money here. But they're telling me, now that I made a little money, I have to move here. So it's not like no one's ever trying to deal with this section. They're just moving away from it. And we're going to have more stars coming from together, but they're going to they're gonna all move this way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all, all the society is doing is leeching off the ghetto. They use the ghetto for their pain, for their sorrow, for their culture, for their music, for their happiness, for their movies, to talk about boys in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be another young. I don't want to be 50 years old at a BET We Shall Overcome um, Achievement Awards. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Not me. You know, I want, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it. But I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's going to clean it up.